Welcome back to another video, everybody. I am pretty excited about this one. As you can see, this is not a Mustang sitting behind me. So hold off before you guys go switch on the video. There is still a lot of Mustang content coming. We got the front suspension that we get, we're doing. We got the engine. We still got uh, autocross, but I wanted to get this project started. I have had friends hammering me to get this done. Ash has been hammering to get this done. So I figured if I put it out on YouTube, you guys will keep me uh, honest and I will get this one finally done. So this is my 1987 Toyota 4Runner. So this is the first generation of the 4Runner. It's got the removable top in the rear and they're just really cool trucks. Uh, this one I've owned since about 2015. I've actually owned three 4Runners. I've owned a 1985 one back in college and then a 1998 one after college, which then I sold to buy the Chevy pickup truck that I now use for towing. At the time, I didn't really see the need for having uh, multiple trucks, but obviously that changed when I found this one. So this one actually has a pretty cool story of how I found it, where it came from and everything like that. Every year we go down to Oak Oak Island, which is an island off of the coast of North Carolina. If you haven't been, you should really go. It is a lot of fun and really secluded. You have to use a ferry to get there. But anyways, we were down there one time and I saw a first gen 4Runner and told my friends like, man, I really want to have one of those again one day that looks just like that. That thing, it had the bumpers, it had the roll up rear, it just, it looked sweet. Fast forward a month and I was looking on uh, Craigslist as we did back then. No one really uses Craigslist anymore unfortunately but I was looking on Craigslist and this gray Toyota 4Runner popped up. The exact same one that I saw down in Oak Oak popped up for sale and called on my buddy and was like hey we got to make another trip down to Oak Oak and look at this 4Runner and of course he was all about it. So we did an impromptu trip down to uh, Oak Oak Island, did a little bit of gigging that night and had a good time. We always love going down there. Took a look at this thing, not the best uh, condition, but it's been on an island. It had island engineering going in on it and I knew that I could make it better and I just really wanted it. So talked the guy down and bought it and drove it back. Of course, the first thing that we did with it after we bought it was took it on the beach and cruised around there. Uh, everything went great. Then I drove it home. Uh, it's about a three to four hour drive from uh, Oak Oak to my house. And it made it, but just barely. As soon as I pulled into uh, my driveway, the thing shut off and would not restart. But it made it because it's a Toyota. Uh, so this thing had house wiring on it or extension cord wiring on it uh, going through it. I've completely rebuilt the engine harness, rebuilt a whole bunch of other things, but I've done a lot of work to it and I drove it for years. So I, like I said, I bought it in 2015. I drove it all the way up to uh, 2020 is when I parked it because I had big plans for uh, this truck. Ever since I first bought it, I had these plans that I wanted to do. I uh, actually started filming on this truck first back in 2020. So if you guys have been following along, I didn't start my YouTube channel until spring of 2021. So that means I was filming for a whole year basically uh, before I even started my YouTube channel. This was supposed to be the first project on the channel, but obviously the Mustang uh, came first onto the channel and has been the only car on the channel other than my truck one or two times uh, has been the only car on the channel for about a year and a half now but that's all going to change we now have the forerunner on the channel i don't know how much of that old footage i'm going to be able to use i haven't actually ever looked at it i didn't really know what i was doing at that time still don't really know what i'm doing too much anyways so the plans for this truck as you can see, it's sitting a little high because it does not have an engine in it. So the engine was removed back in 2020 to get ready for an engine swap that has been started, but has not been finished. So I'll discuss that in a later video. We got some rust repair that we need to 
do replace or figure out something for that. We got rusty fenders up here, rusty fenders out there. We got rust inside, but uh, the frame has all been done. That was done back in 2020. I did film it, so we'll see if I could fit any of that video in with this. As I said, uh, I filmed a lot, but didn't actually use any of it. But overall, this truck is just gonna be a fun off-road truck to go take onto the beach, to take up into the mountains, not do anything too crazy, not doing any mudding, not any rock, rock uh, crawling or anything like that. Just do some nice fun trails, hit a few rocks here or there, nothing too crazy. Um, it'll be a good off-road, dare I say, overland type of uh, rig and trails. We're not gonna be doing any kind of like roof camper or anything on this thing like that. So it's not gonna be like a full out overland kind of build. It's gonna be a truck that we take out, do some trails, do some camping, just have a lot of fun in. I miss driving this truck, having those uh, rear opened up. We even set it up to where we could take the doors off. The thing is just a blast to drive. The truck gets a lot of attention wherever it goes. Get a lot of thumbs up. I just love this truck. This is one of my favorite vehicles that I own. Unfortunately, it's just been really neglected over these past two years. Uh, the paint is not looking good from sitting out. It's got a lot more rust from when uh, I first parked it. So in the coming videos, we will start working on this truck again. As I said, if I put it on YouTube, I will be held accountable by you guys to get this truck uh, done, hopefully. So. We'll have a lot of videos coming up on this thing, trying to get it ready for, the plan is for next year, next spring time is when I would like to at least have the truck driving. Uh, a project is never done, but I wanna at least get it driving again by uh, next spring is the plan, so. That is the next project on the channel that's coming. So we'll be mixing this with the Mustang as we're going forward. Because as I said, there is still a lot to do on the Mustang to get it ready for uh, the finish out this season and then to get it ready for next season where we're adding the front suspension and a new engine into it. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in one of the next videos. Later.